divide as indicated. Well, what we'll do is long division of x squared minus 1, and we'll divide that into 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed. Since there's no x squared term, I'll hold the place by 0x squared minus 8x plus 6. x squared goes into 3x to the fourth, 3x squared times. Multiply, and I get 3x times x squared is 3x to the fourth. 3x squared minus 1 is a minus 3x squared, so I'll put that under the x squared column and subtract. The 3x to the fourth is can fourths cancel. There are no x cubed, so I still have my 2x cubed to bring down. 0 minus a negative becomes plus 3x squared. Now x squared goes in 2x cubed, 2x times, so that's plus 2x. Multiplying, I get 2x cubed, then minus 2x, so I'm going to have to skip over down here to minus 2x, so I'll bring my 8x down to look at that. Subtracting, the x cubes cancel, leaving 3x squared, because there's nothing to subtract that from. Negative 8 minus a negative becomes plus 2, so that's minus 6x. I'll bring down my last 6. x squared goes into 3x squared 3 times, so it's plus 3. Multiplying, I get 3x squared minus 3. Subtracting, the x squareds cancel. I have the negative 6x, and 6 minus a negative 3 becomes plus 3, which makes it plus 9. And so what I have then is 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 plus my remainder. I can have negative 6x plus 9 or 9 minus 6x if I reverse the two over my denominator of x squared minus 1.